4,300 athletes from 161 countries made it to Rio. Some were missing limbs. Others were blind or partially paralyzed. China sent its biggest delegation ever, 308 of the country's toughest disabled athletes, the largest Paralympic team China has ever assembled. Foreign athletes arrived while organizers were facing budget cuts after selling a fraction of the 2.5 million available tickets. Finally, organizers sold around 80% of the tickets, and with a last-minute bailout from the government, the games took place without interruption. It's indescribable. We often have agility in our day-to-day -day lives, but society can't see it in the same way that when it sees sports. In the end, it was a love of sports, not just low prices, that made the Paralympics a financial success. Tickets passed the two million mark, making it the second most attended Paralympics after London 2012. The home team's performance fired up the crowds. So did the four blind middle distance runners who finished the 1500 meter race with faster times than last month's Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, I think maybe the stereotype previously was that Paralympics is second-rate sport, not as good as the Olympics. And I think this sends out a very loud and clear message that Paralympic sport is amongst the, the best sport in the world. And to have four athletes faster than the Olympic gold medalist, I think, is just, is just the best example. For Rio, the 2016 Paralympics will be remembered as one of the greatest logistical challenges ever faced by a country crippled by recession but full of enthusiasm. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.